Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear brothers and sisters in Islam I hope you are well I would like to talk quickly about the sorry state of the ummah today it's very unfortunate and very painful that today anytime someone wants to make the news all they have to do is to try to make some provocative actions against the Muslims yet again Sweden has granted the application of someone to ban the Quran, this time outside the Iraqi embassy, as well as burning an Iraqi flag. They do all this in the name of freedom of speech. Now let's analyze that quickly. Would they have done the same if you were to put in an application with the same Swedish police asking to burn the American flag, asking to burn the European flag, asking to burn Jewish symbols? Would they call that freedom of speech? I mean, we all know the answer to that, don't we? Pure hypocrisy. They would never call that. But do you know why they do that with the Muslims? Because they know how they will get is riots, protests, occasional halabalu from some governments. But there's no concrete state response. And that is why. The only state response when that happened the last time was Turkey. And eventually now Turkey, why, oh, and they, what was their response? They said, uh, we won't let you enter NATO. So now you enter NATO so you can enter EU. And eventually they had their own desires or their own political interests. Where are the Muslim states? They are burning the symbols of Islam. The, the symbol that makes Islam that makes you worthy. The deen that gives you the honor you have. If there was no Islam, Saudi Arabia is a desert. If there was no Islam, Kuwait and Qatar and all these Islamic states, there's no honor in them. But we have no organized response. Nothing. Because they know the Muslim states are docile. I pray to God that... The caliphate is established at some point and once again people will think before making such stupid provocative actions against the muslims because i tell you they will not do that against the jews they will not do that against any even the 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 buddhists and all of that they would never do that against them but the muslims easy prey eh? you can get away with anything huh or you get is some riots and then you say oh look see how they are hooligans they are rioters they are protesters but you never do that against any of the world power because oh no 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 that's no longer freedom of speech but against the muslims yeah 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 freedom of speech we pray to allah that allah has mercy on us and as muslims we need even if we cannot do anything of huge noteworthiness but we need to despise these actions very much in our in our hearts and our minds and pray pray that hopefully Bismillah will have some unity in the ummah and there will be something that makes them think twice before trying to use islam as their as as as, as their trick for quick fame and attention assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh